Since the invention of the integrated circuit in 1958, device engineers have continued to improve the performance of memory chips and microprocessors by simply squeezing more transistors into the same two-dimensional area. Although transistor scaling has provided technological advancements and cost savings for decades, it cannot continue at the same pace forever. Feature sizes cannot be smaller than a single atom, so engineers will eventually have to find new ways to make devices faster and more efficient. One promising new approach takes integrated circuit manufacturing beyond two-dimensional scaling and into three-dimensional stacking. In this approach, several chips are stacked on top of each other to form a single, high-performance package. These three-dimensional integrated circuits could provide much-needed improvements in efficiency, data transfer speeds, and physical size. But there is a catch. For 3D stacking to work, the chips have to be thin, really thin. Typical integrated circuits are produced on wafers made of silicon, gallium arsenide, or other semiconducting materials, and are usually around 600 to 800 micrometers thick. At these thicknesses, the wafers do not require any special support during production. But when they are thin to less than 100 micrometers, the wafers lose their rigidity and become extremely fragile. They must be temporarily bonded to a rigid support called a carrier in order to survive the harsh process steps that follow. This temporary bonding allows manufacturers to process thin wafers as though they were standard full thickness wafers. Once processing is complete, the wafer is released from the carrier and the ultra-thin chips can be packaged. Although the temporary bonding process may sound straightforward, it still has many challenges to overcome. Ultra-thin wafers will often bow and warp due to internal stresses and forces encountered during the temporary bonding process. Bonding materials may need to withstand high temperatures during metal deposition steps or resist harsh chemistries while the wafer is being etched. But the biggest challenge is safely releasing the ultra-thin device wafer from the carrier after processing is complete. Brewer Science began addressing these challenges early in the development of the thin wafer technology with the introduction of its advanced temporary bonding systems. In each system, the device wafer is first bonded to the carrier and is then thinned and processed. The main difference among the systems is the method used to release the wafer. The chemical release system uses a perforated carrier which allows solvent to dissolve the bonding material and release the wafer. The chemical release system is the original temporary bonding platform developed by Brewer Science. It requires a low initial investment and allows for easy entry into the thin wafer technology space. Next in the evolution of temporary bonding technology is the thermal slide release system. In this system, the wafer is released from the carrier by first heating the wafers and then gently sliding them apart. This process greatly increases throughput compared to the chemical release process and is the first system suitable for a higher volume production environment. The mechanical release system was developed by Brewer Science to address the need for low stress room temperature separation. This system uses a specially treated carrier that provides enough adhesion to support the device wafer, yet can be easily released by gently peeling the pair apart. The bonding materials used in this system are also capable of withstanding higher temperatures during wafer processing. The newest and most advanced temporary bonding platform from Brewer Science is the laser release system. In this system, rapid separation of the wafer from the carrier is achieved by exposing a special release layer to an eczema laser. The laser release system allows for fast, low-stress separation of the bonded pair and is the first system on the market suitable for very high volume production, meeting throughput requirements of up to 50 wafers per hour. These four temporary bonding systems give engineers flexible options for incorporating ultra-thin wafers into their production processes. Brewer Science was early to market with its temporary bonding technology and continues to offer the most advanced, low-stress platforms on the market. Brewer Science also provides advanced modeling services to help engineers achieve optimal efficiency and throughput. Check out our website for more information.